All right, got another stove here for you uh, from GearBest.com. It's labeled as their brother BRS-8 Portable Outdoor Picnic Oil Gas Furnace Tank Kit. 530 milliliters. Let's go ahead and open up the box and check it out. All right, so this is the box it comes in. I've already, it's already been used once, so um, some of the things might not quite be as they were when I found them. Um, over here is a key or a wrench to help put it together. Here is the bottle. Now, a lot of these stoves don't come with uh, fuel bottles, so this is pretty cool. Um, you hear some fuel in there. Uh, that is because it was already used uh, last weekend. Here's the actual stove itself. Uh, the legs fold out from the sides and creates a very large, stable platform. Now the one good thing about this stove is it is a multi-fuel stove, so you can use different fuels with it. Um, it's designed to be used with things like your Coleman fuel um, that you're used to using for your old lanterns, or your bottle fuel like you're used to using for your stoves, like in my last stove. Here is the actual pump mechanism. Looks fancily designed to me, but and the hose. I think this is the important part of the kit due to its threading. This threading here matches up with the tanks and the pump. And it also comes with a bag to put it in, but I, di I didn't do that. And some extra O-rings uh, to repair the kit. Now to put it together, it's fairly simple. Um, we just go ahead and take this end here and screw it on to the threaded portion here. Now there is a protector that goes on this. It has been removed. Now I just finger tighten that, take the wrench, and just snug it up. And that's enough. All right, so this is the pump, and this is actually the leg that it sits on, this flat part here. It can be moved in different positions if need be. Um, you wanna go ahead and move that out of your way when we go ahead and connect it, because if you need to twist this to turn the threads here to thread it to change the position of the way it actually sits on here you can all right so I found it easier to go ahead and just make sure it's in the off position first then to stick the pump on first at least for me until that is snugged up like I said, this is where you can take and uh, twist it to whatever direction it needs to be for you. I prefer it to sit at the 90 degrees. And then we'll go ahead and take this, pull it out, flip it around, and insert this into the tank. You can hear that. That was a nice tight seal. Go ahead and insert it into the tank and screw it on. So we've got a good seal there. And then this is just where you you lay it down and that gives us its proper angle and the dip tube inside of it is set correctly. And just take and pump it up. One thing to keep note of is to make sure that you don't go past the max fill line. That allows there to be enough air in there to create the pressure to, to push the gas out. It says the stove can be used with uh, gasoline, kerosene, uh, diesel, and of course the gas canisters. Um, it's not the other type of gas canisters uh, that you'll see um, that you use for like your lanterns and whatnot. This is for backpacking uh, canisters. It has to have this nice little lip around here and the threads match up. All right, it says the preheat time for this is actually 
pretty short, about 30 seconds. Um, so we'll just turn the valve on, let a little bit of fuel out. And I'll shut the valve back off. Um, really just need to wait till it gets a blue flame in there. You can see it burning now. You would want to use a windscreen with this if possible. And what we're trying to do actually is heat that fuel line up that's going over the top there. Um, so it'll help to vaporize the gas. Went ahead and kicked it up a notch. I've actually just got it cracked open now at this point. Do a boil time test on this. All right, I have uh, two cups in here, and we'll see how long it takes to boil two cups of water. Hit the start button. Really close. There it is. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Now we'll do a boil test on six cups of water. Okay, that's 5.40. Five minutes and 40 seconds to boil it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Let it die out. It takes a minute to die out. All right, so the two cups of water was two minutes and 50 seconds, and the uh, six cups of water was five minutes and 40 seconds. Not bad, not bad at all. We're gonna go ahead and put the uh, gas canister on there and check it out, see how it does with it. All right, so one thing you don't wanna do, and I actually found this out the hard way originally, is you don't want to just disconnect this because the pump itself has pressure in it and it will cause the fuel to come out of this end here. So we want to go ahead and just unscrew it from the tank, crack it just so the gas will release, and then you can unscrew it. Not bad, it didn't use much fuel. Make sure that's tight. Then we can go ahead and disconnect the actual unit. And we'll go ahead and connect the tank to it. Do a quick little turn there. All right, there's not a lot of fuel in this tank. It's one of my older tanks. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and crack it.
Now there's no preheat time for this because this is obviously just the fuel. That sounds like a rocket. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, and the way we used it this weekend was with a cast iron skillet as well. This platform actually holds the weight uh, extremely well. It's very, very stable. But we're not doing that. We're going to go do a boil time on the two cups of water, as we did before and the five cups of water. All right, so I had to let the other containers completely cool off. That took quite a long time, honestly, even though it's fairly cool outside. But we're gonna go ahead and light up this gas. Okay, it's 3.30. All right, so that took 10 minutes. Quite a bit longer. I, I think it's because this canister is nearly empty. Um, and that also goes to show that the reason why you need the pump, it's colder outside, so this, this can is really, really cold. It's not putting out as much fuel as it normally would. All right, so with everything in there, half thing of fuel, we're at one pound basically one pound 11 ounces. So probably with the uh, fuel full, we're gonna easily be at about two pounds with everything. That's pretty heavy, but um, if you need it, you need it. Well, what's my thoughts on the stove? Well, that's the first stove that I've owned like that. Um, we did use one up at the lock when we did our uh, snowshoe backpacking trip uh, last year, and I like the one he had. This one here is a multi-fuel stove, so you're able to use different types of fuels. I do like that feature. Um, the weight, uh, I don't know what it compares to to other stoves. Like I said, with the fuel and everything, about two pounds. Um, I think that's probably about normal, uh, per se. And only time will tell. So, you guys take care. See you around.